Welcome to your face yoga routine for lifting and tightening the entire face. We're going to stay in each pose for one minute to get that maximum lift and we'll only do one round of each pose. My name is Elise, your favorite face yoga coach. Let's jump right into it by taking a big, calming, deep breath through your nose and we'll begin with tapping. So starting at your sternum, gently tap moving up towards your collarbones above your collarbones, tapping on your neck and the sides of your neck, moving up to your jaw, your chin. You can close your eyes here if that feels good for you. Breathing deep through your nose, relaxing your face, the muscles in your face. Tap on your cheeks, your temples, your forehead. Stay connected to your breath. Sit up straight, elongate your spine, tapping on your head, the back of your head, the back of your neck, and then you'll eventually end up where you started. Take a moment to notice how you feel, and then we're going to start with a combination exercise. So suck your cheeks in like you're making a fish face, lift your cheeks up and then place your hands on your temples for cat eyes. So we're combining this fish face cheek lifting pose with cat eyes. We're gonna be here for one minute. So your cheeks are lifted, your hands are covering the ends of your eyebrows, pressing in, up, and back. Your eyes are squeezed against the opposite resistance. So you wanna imagine pulling your eyes in and down against the opposite resistance of your hands lifting up and back. There's a lot going on here, so if you need to adjust your hands, make sure you are pressing in and up evenly on each side. Check in with your cheeks to make sure they are lifted and not falling downwards. Relax the area in between your eyebrows. Relax your forehead. Keep breathing in and out through your nose. We're only here for one round. This exercise is going to work out your entire face. It's great for lifting your cheeks, lifting your eyes, reversing wrinkles on the outer corners of your eyes, lifting your entire face from the sides. Everything is working here. Relax your shoulders down, relax your neck. Keep breathing in and out through your nose. Don't lose the shape of your mouth. Keep sucking in and lifting up. We're here for five more seconds. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Enjoy a long exhale out of your nose or mouth. And you can go ahead and release. Great job. Take a big, deep inhale. Drop your jaw. Create a long and narrow O. Wrap your lips around your teeth. Lift your cheeks up. And focus on sending your mouth corners all the way back to your back molars. And this is what lifts your cheeks. You can place your hands on the side of your face or at your chin so that you keep your O long and narrow, and we're gonna be here for one minute. So keep focusing on tightly wrapping your lips around your teeth, sending your mouth corners all the way back to your back molars. The O stays long and narrow, your upper face is completely relaxed, and your cheeks are lifting up towards the sky. Now you can look up here and then look towards your third eye to further activate this exercise. Keep sending your mouth corners to your back molars and let that be what lifts your cheeks up. Make sure you're not carrying any tension in your jaw or the lower part of your face. Relax any tension in between your eyebrows and on your forehead. Keep imagining your entire face lifting up towards the sky like your cheeks are lifting and widening your O is as long and narrow as possible. Your upper and lower lip are engaged and pulling. And go ahead and release, great job. We're going to lift the lower eyelid, specifically in the inner eye. So place your ring finger at the inner corners of your eyes and your index finger and middle finger on the outer corners of your eye. Gently look up and then try to Activate the area right underneath your ring finger. So nothing else should activate. 
it will almost feel like you are pressing into your middle finger with your eye muscle. We're holding here for one minute. So the trick with this exercise is you don't want to activate anything else around your eyes. We're not squeezing our entire eyes. We're only activating the piece underneath our ring ring finger. So you shouldn't feel any activation of muscles underneath your index finger or your middle finger. We only want to activate that small piece right underneath where our ring finger is laying. So you may not feel anything, you may feel a small vibration, but we want to make sure we're not overcompensating by using any of the surrounding muscles. Don't worry if you're not able to feel anything, with practice you will. Take a big deep breath in, a long exhale, go ahead and release, great job. Moving on to brow press, you're going to take your palm ends, place them on your eyebrows, covering as much as your eyebrows as possible. Press up and to the sides so you feel a deep stretch in between your eyebrows. Lifting up, pulling outwards, squeezing your eyes shut against opposite resistance. Feel the resistance from your hands moving up and out and your eyes squeezing in and down. Hold here. Relax your neck and your shoulders. Relax your forehead and your jaw. Breathing deep, we're gonna be here for about one minute. This exercise is amazing for reversing those wrinkles in between our eyebrows, those frown lines wrinkles on our forehead, strengthening our eyes, lifting our eyes, lifting droopy eyelids and eyebrows. Wonderful exercise for lifting the upper part of your face, increasing circulation and blood flow. We're here for five more seconds. Keep squeezing your eyes in and down and go ahead and release. Great job. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Place one hand on your collarbone, followed by the other hand. Wrap your bottom lip around your bottom teeth, protrude your jaw forward, look up and then send your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Feel that deep activation on your neck and jawline. We're here for one minute. This is going to really help lift and tone your neck, lift and tone your jawline and droopy mouth corners. Relax your forehead and the area in between your eyebrows. Keep breathing in and out through your nose. Don't hold your breath here. Make sure your tongue stays up at the top of your mouth and your hands stay firmly at your collarbone so we really feel a deep stretch and activation. Keep your lower lip wrapping tightly around your lower teeth, pulling in as much as possible. Try to activate and push forward evenly on each side. Take a deep breath in, a long breath out. Go ahead and release. Great job. Inhale, lift your left arm to the sky. Place it on your right temple. As you exhale, let your left ear drop down towards your left shoulder, stretching through the right side of your neck. You have the option to stick out your tongue and point it all the way down to the floor, or you can do a stretch through your jaw by moving your jaw towards the left side, towards your left shoulder, stretching through the right side of your jaw. Whatever method is more comfortable for you today or what your body is asking for. We're here for one minute total. So relax into this, breathe deep, relax your forehead, relax your eyebrows. Relax your shoulders. Relax the area in between your eyebrows. Relax your lips and your mouth. Take a deep breath in and then slowly come out and we'll move to the other side. So let your right ear drop towards your right shoulder. Take whatever variation that you took on the other side, either sticking out your tongue towards the floor or letting your jaw drop to the right side, stretching through the left side of your jaw. 
Keep breathing in through your nose. Relax your forehead. Relax the area in between your eyebrows. Relax your neck. Relax your lips and your mouth. Sitting up straight. Hugging your navel into your spine. Breathing deep into the left side of your neck here. These longer stretches really help to release tension and emotional blockages, stagnations. Inhale, exhale, and release. Great job. Crisscross your hands behind your head. Let your elbows come toward each other and drop your head so we're stretching through the back of your neck. Elbows are coming toward each other. We're holding here for one minute. So don't overexert yourself. Don't press too hard. We're here for one minute. You are letting your hands supply a little pressure so you feel a deep stretch in the back of your neck. But since we're holding here, you don't want to overexert yourself. Breathe deep into the back of your neck. Relax your forehead. Relax your chin. Relax your mouth. Keep breathing deep. Relax your shoulders down. And when you're ready, gently come up. Look to your right. Look down. And then with your right hand, grab the back of your head and guide your head down so your nose is moving towards your right armpit. We're going to hold this stretch for one minute. You can readjust your hand if you need to, stretching through the back left side of our neck, breathing deep. If you feel you can move your nose further down and further towards your right armpit, then you can do that, but don't cause any pain for yourself. Don't apply too much pressure. Only go as far as feels good for you. Getting a, a nice deep stretch here. We're here for 10 more seconds. Take a deep breath in, a long breath out, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So look towards your left, look down, place your left hand on your head and guide your nose towards your left armpit. Breathe deep. Holding here for one minute. Make sure that you're not pressing too hard with your hand. We are holding for longer today. So we want to make sure we're being gentle and not causing any pain. If you can move your nose closer to your armpit just a little bit, you can do that. But again, making sure you are only going as far as is comfortable for you. We really want to make sure we have flexibility in our neck, that our neck muscles are elongated and flexible so they're not pulling down on our facial muscles. Oftentimes our neck is so overlooked. Inhale, exhale, and release. Great job. We're going to close out this practice with some gentle neck circles. So with your nose, make a circle one way. We'll do five in each direction. Make sure to go very slow and be very gentle here after the deep neck stretching we just did. So you don't need to go too wide. You can make small circles. And then when you've done five, you can switch directions. Being very gentle, breathing deep, listening to your neck, your body, releasing any kinks, any blockages, any tightness. Increasing circulation and blood flow. And go ahead and release. Great job. And that is it for today's a quick and easy lifting and tightening routine. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I love you all dearly. Namaste and I'll see you in the next video.